Hey guys, welcome back to my craft room. So we are doing a set of Valentine's note cards today. I wanted to share with you how I'm going to, um, well, how I did create two different papers that are kind of Valentine's themed. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So for the first one, it's going to be a conversation heart uh, style paper, pattern paper. And all you're going to need is a heart. I'm going to go with a larger size because I want to be able to write on my conversation hearts. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with a blue stamp, um, not stamp, ink. <laughs> and I'm going to do a light blue and then a darker blue just to do a shadow. So I'm going to start off with my darker blue. And I'm going to take my stamp here. Let's see if I can move this to the side and show you. I'm going to turn it here. And I'm just going to ink up the edge of my heart with my darker blue ink. You can go as big as you want. You can go as little as you want. And then once you get your little outline here done, you can do your light blue ink all over your stamp. And just line it right up with the edge of your other ink. You might have a little bit of kind of um, lining up issues, but that's fine. You can always go back in and that's just gonna add an extra layer of um, just kind of shading and whatnot. So again, this time I'll show you with my pink. So I would just go over on all edges of my page and just kind of give myself a pattern, but leave enough space because I am going to go in with I'm going to do pink, but of course you could do either. Um, oops. Come on. My ink wanted to stick to something else. <laughs> I'm going to do pink, but you could do purple if that's, you know, the colors that you have. So for these ones, I'm going to be doing a darker pink and then a lighter pink. So this is Regal Rose and this is Pretty in Pink. The blues were Marina Mist and Brocade Blue, but you know, if you can find any kind of ink that goes together, that's perfect. If you can't find an ink, like if you only have one color of ink, then you can use your either, um, either your alcohol marker or a colored pencil or crayons, and you could do the other half. It'd probably be easier if you did your ink for the whole side of, or size of your heart because then you don't have to do the outline yourself. But then you can just go in with your alcohol marker on that on those edges. So those are the conversation hearts. Very easy to do. The most time consuming part of it is just filling the whole page <laughs> but it looks so good when you're done all right so to do the actual conversation part you're going to want to use an ink of a little bit of a darker shade maybe even the same shade as the uh, side shading that you had done so i'm just going to be using a red and a blue uh, ink pen just one that you would normally write with anyway nothing special there and then you can do your typical sayings be mine xoxo love you and just kind of do it in kind of a blocky way you don't really have to do any fancy text or anything so there's xoxo and then
Love you. Just like that. There we go. I'll show you the whole finished page of that. And they look so good. It's going to look so good on our note cards. So the next one, we're going to make some chocolate covered strawberries. So I just have a strawberry stamp here. And mine has a part, a little leafy part. So I'm going to go in with my old olive, but any green, you know, and depending on your strawberry stamp, is if you go in with alcohol markers or if you go in with uh, go in with your inks. So then I am going to take my I don't even know the names of these <laughs> real red <laughs> and I'm gonna do my other outline part and that's gonna give me my base strawberry. And then the nice and easy part <laughs> is to take a brown alcohol marker. You could do watercolor, you can do uh, color pencil, you could do crayon, whatever is available to you. And you're just going to make a little bit of a wavy line. And you don't have to make your strawberries all the same. You can have your chocolate go to different lengths and whatnot. So you're just going to color in with your chocolate whatever your brown is, mine's cocoa. And then you're gonna go in with a red and just fill it, finish the rest of your strawberry that's not covered in chocolate. And then of course, if you had your leaf that's not colored, you could go in with your other green. And then I like to just go along the brown with my red, just to give it an extra definition. It's very nice and kind of just gives it a nice look. There's our, our little strawberry on that page. And then here is the whole page done. So you just strategically or just randomly place your stamp down just kind of to fill your page with your pattern paper do a close-up on a strawberry there they look so good you could even do some chocolate drips and I'm not going to do that because when we do our note cards which will be here soon <laughs> after I get done explaining this then um, I'm going to be filling it with some extra like sentiments and whatnot so I don't really want my page to be that too much cluttered but of course if that's what you like then you could just fill your page in more so those are the two papers that we are going to be working with today with our note cards our note card set I thought very Valentine's-y styles. I'm in love with how they turned out. <laughs> Can't wait to see what the note cards come out to be like. So I'm going to get everything ready for the note cards and I'll see you here in a bit. So to make the actual note cards, I'm going to start off with a pink base. And I am just going to cut them down to my three by six. I think I'm going to, yeah, I guess I'll do it this way. And I need to make five. So there's four. Six. <laughs> and I'm going to keep my 
extra pieces just in case I decide to use them. I don't think I'm going to. It's not really on my plan. So let's go ahead and cut our papers down while we are at it. So I'm going to do, um, yeah, two and three quarters, I think is going to be a good size. That's going to give me a pretty nice pink border, but not too much of a border. to give me a little bit of variety in the, <laughs> the set. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and ink my edges. Let's save that one for a different time. I'm kind of thinking maybe a dark or a light pink. Let's do the lighter pink, since it's a darter, darker pink on the actual paper, the cardstock that we're doing. So using the pink on both of them is kind of going to give them a little bit more of a set feel since they're two different kinds of papers. It'll give it a little bit more of a, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Uniformity, but not really. It'll just kind of tie them in together. I'm going to go ahead and fold these and then crease them. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the envelopes on camera or not. Okay. I'm also debating should I do a white piece on the inside because the pink is a little bit darker but I think you'd still be able to see pen so I'm kind of eh I feel like it'll be fine without the white but it's also kind of like eh maybe I should <laughs> I think I'm going to just to kind of give it a little bit of a finished look on the inside and then I can do a little stamp or something on the corner just to give it a little bit of an extra touch Debating should I do the same pink or I've got some of those extra bits of um, sentiments that I had cut up. I feel like maybe I should use one of those. They are rather large though. I think 
that might be really cute though. One, two, three, four, five. I think I'm gonna do that. And then just cut them down maybe. So I think that would look really good. Hmm. I've only got Soul Sister that's small. <laughs> so I I don't know. And I've only got four of them anyway. We'll play around with that, I guess. But I think what I'm going to do is do a little bit of ribbon. Or actually, some of this gold. That will be fun. Just right down the center. That's what I'm kind of thinking. a little bit of extra in the background there and then when we put that on it's got kind of a fun piece there I'm wondering if I should do foam tape or if just putting it down is gonna be fine I don't know where my foam tape foam tape is <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to just put it down <laughs> I have no idea where it went. <laughs> That's one of the things like I always lose. Hmm. I wonder where that went. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to leave that corner in the bottom there. We'll put our sentiment there. That's just, that paper turned out so good. Love that conversation heart paper. Oops. A little too long. Love that gold on the back. That was that just gives it a nice little pop. I think that the other ribbon would have been fine, but this gold just kind of gives it a nice Valentine's feel. And plus that red polka dot kind of wouldn't really go really well. Like the only red it would go nice with is the strawberries. So it kind of works out. I don't really have very much pink ribbon, so I've been kind of relying on... Oh, do I need another... Do I want another strawberry? Do I want another? And this one's already cut. So we'll go with an extra conversation heart rather than strawberry. Oops.
but having those papers it's going to really be nice when I start working on other Valentine's stuff and that'll be here soon so got quite a bit of Valentine's projects lined up just kind of why I went crazy with the embellishments <laughs> Okay, I think I think I do want to put some white paper down on the inside. So I'm gonna go grab that real fast. I think I'll do the same size as the mats on the outside. I think that was a pretty good size. Two and three fourths. Gives ample writing room. <laughs> Even normally when you do note cards, you don't really do very much writing, so at least I don't. I normally just sign it or do a two from. either stamp or I've got some extra hearts. I'm thinking maybe I'll do that. Some extra hearts that I die cut. I think that would be kind of fun. Just in the corner. Whoa. Okay. They're not really conversation hearts, which I could do, but my conversation hearts are a little puffy. Like I could do the stamped ones, but I've got a little bit of a little bit of a difference here that kind of just breaks up the monotony. <laughs> Gives a fun little touch without being directly related to the theme of the card. Very good on the inside there. And since I'm using the foam conversation arts on the outside, I kind of don't want to make them too bulky on the inside since the bulk is going to be on the outside. If the inside wasn't as bulky, I'd probably do a bulkier inside. Just because I like to have my bulk kind of proportional on all sides and on either side, inside and out. It's kind of like with my mini pocket letters and pocket letters. I just try to distribute the bulk so it's all kind of equal. That way you don't get one lumpy side. <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, because sometimes the brain and the hands just really want to put something somewhere where it's already bulky, so it can't be too... <laughs> oh. 
Oh, goodness gracious. Excuse me. Okay. Let's go ahead and do a sentiment. Mm, I think I'm actually going to grab... <laughs> Maybe. Ooh, okay. I have this little thing of, I guess they're not really sentiments, but I'm going to cut them up into sentiments. <laughs> I think that that's going to be kind of a fun, fun way to use sentiments. They're just so close to each other, it's kind of hard to make sure where to cut. It's a lot of trial and error. And then some of them are just like, yeah, that works. <laughs> So that one kind of goes right into that arrow. I love when paper pads have these kinds of images, but they're not really images, you know? <laughs> they have the option to be an image, but then you can also cut them up. I just love that. Okay. I love when they're versatile. <laughs> so I think... Yeah, it's going to be right at the... That's okay. We can cut them off. It's fine. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> I was hoping for that extra pretty edge, but... Sometimes you just have to cut it off. I think I want to put it on some of that pink paper, though. I think a nice little border would be cute. Had to trim it down a smidgen. Gosh, I got a bunch of overhang on the adhesives. Okay. And I think I'm going to Put a little ah! <laughs> a little conversation heart four five six. Let's do, yeah, we'll do a white one. I'm just going to stick it right up on that corner. I would put it like right here or right here, but I don't want to cover up those conversation hearts. So if I wanted to, I could put a foam one down here and that would kind of proportion it, but... I still think I want to keep that flat on the inside. All right. I think we'll do Valentine in this one. This one's probably not going to have too much of a border of pink. 
just because it's so long. Try and get it nice and lined up. So it's not as hard to trim. Perfect. Love when that happens. <laughs> it's kind of a guessing game, but when it happens, it happens. <laughs> And then I think we'll do a little pink one. Maybe like maybe right there. I think that looks good. Kind of neat how that came out. <laughs> All right, let's do let's do the XOXO for this one. Put it down here. Let's do a pink one. I think the purple is going to distract really too much. Put that right there. That one's super cool. I like that one a lot. Looks nice. <laughs> this one we can do the sweetheart. That's not going to really matter too much on that one. Because we've got a nice big space for our sentiment. I think we'll use the purple one on this one. Oops. Oh, I think that one's my favorite now. <laughs> that one looks really good. It actually kind of looks like the Sweet Tart Conversation Heart box. That's funny. It's really cool. <laughs> All right, for this one, let's do let's do the love. Sounds like a dance. It's like to the let's do the time warp again, but let's do the love again. <laughs> Can I grab one too many conversation hearts? Oh yeah, because I needed five, but I did six. <laughs> I'm 
do that down here in the corner. And we'll put, I think the pink one is going to look really nice. Right up here. So cute. I'm kind of debating, do I put a sentiment on the inside? I think my happy Valentine's Day might be a little bit too big. Oh, you know what? But if we do, hmm, I don't know how this is going to turn out. <laughs> if I do a very pale pink, is the pretty in pink going to be too... Too vibrant, maybe. Maybe we'll uh, stamp it. Come here. <laughs> and then let's see what a second stamp looks like. Yeah, I kind of like the second. Okay. I mean, the first would be fine, but I think it's a little bit too, too much. So we're going to do, stamp it off, come over here, stamp it on, so that it's there. You can see it, but it doesn't matter if you write on it, you know? I thought it was going to be bad. <laughs> Stamp off. Stamp off. <laughs> Wax on. Wax off. I just want it to be there, but I don't want it to interfere with if they want to write something on there, you know? So just kind of a little, like a watermark of Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Very nice. All right. I think we could go ahead and make our envelopes. Actually, because I have to worry about timing with uploading. So I think I'm going to go ahead and make my envelopes. And maybe I'll show you how to make one of them. I don't know. We'll see. To make an envelope, <laughs> figured I'd show you guys, <laughs> but I have to do it fast. To make your envelope, you're going to start out with a six and a half. By five and a half. Piece of paper, a little, um, not quite cardstock. You want it to be a little bit more flimsy than that. And not quite printer paper. So just kind of like a lightweight pattern paper will work. Then on your longer side, your six and a half side, you're going to score at one and a half, flip it, two, and then on your top and bottom, so at your five and a half, side you're going to score at one on either side so again one and a half two one and then one and then you're going to take your scissors and 
on this middle section, you're going to take your scissors and kind of make a point right into where your lines intersect. If you don't get them quite the right angle, you can clean it up later. And then on your one inch score line, you're going to cut right into your point that you just made. If you watch the making of the envelopes during the Christmas, Crafty Christmas, it's practically the same, the same thing, just a different size. You just cut right up to that point and take that little section off. Just like that. And they're so easy to make. Very fast, too. <laughs> That's what I love about it. Then you're just going to go ahead and do your burnishing. on all of your sides. You're going to take your longer piece. You'll know. <laughs> it's quite a bit longer. And you're just going to do a line of adhesive. And then take your little flap and put it over. If you've got a little bit of extra adhesive, you can just roll your finger on it and it'll come right off if you're using your tape runner. And then if you're using an omnidirectional, you can choose which, um, which points, which flap doesn't look as good. And you can put that as your bottom because no one's going to be really looking at that one. And then if you feel like your points aren't quite the same, you can always come back in and clean them up until you get what you feel is kind of the same little point there. But there is your little envelope that will fit perfectly your little three by three cards. You'll have a little bit of extra room but I always find that's you know that's always nice to have. So and then you can put a little sealer on there. You can do a row of adhesive that you just take off. I think what I'm going to do is stick a little um, just these felt conversation heart stickers. I'm going to put those on the bottom here just to give a little bit of extra design on the actual envelopes. If you wanted to, you could put a little white piece there, or even, you know, this little pink piece would be good. But I figure they can use Sharpie, or if they want to, they can put a little piece of white paper on there. But I feel like a lot of the times with the 3x3 three three note cards, they don't really need to address it on the front. So it's okay to have a little bit more of a decorative envelope. <laughs> but those are my little three by three cards and then my envelope that I'm putting it in. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you're having a crazy day. Good crazy, not bad crazy. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.